So you want to know how Stable Diffusion stacks up against DALI? Not a problem. For this video, I will be comparing the official Stable Diffusion website with the official DALI website, which has now gone public and no longer requires a waitlist to sign up. So when I do a software comparison, I always do it strictly from the end user perspective. And generally, users care about six things. Ease of access, affordability, quality, speed, intuitiveness, and policy. Both of them are easy to access. You just make an account and within a single minute, you can start typing away and generate images. So they're both basically even there. As far as affordability goes, Stable Diffusion gives you about 100 512 by 512 images for free, and then when you're out, you have to pay 10 bucks for about a thousand more images. DALI gives you 50 credits for free, and one credit gives you four images. 50 times four is 200 free initial images. However, for the rest of your life, DALI also gives you 15 credits for free each month. Now the big the biggest difference is Dolly's images are 1024 by 1024, so they're four times larger than the images you get in Stable Diffusion. In Stable Diffusion, when you try and generate 1024 images, you no longer get about 100 images for a dollar. I didn't do the exact calculations, but you get like 10. This would have been a close match if Stable Diffusion gave you free images every month or took the mid-journey approach and charged you 30 for a monthly subscription and unlimited usage. But as it stands right now, Dolly definitely gives you more for your money, especially when you consider the size of the images. As far as quality goes, I'll have another video explaining this in detail, but for now, Dolly does a much better job at photorealistic images. Stable Diffusion, on the other hand, is much better at doing artistic style paintings. However, it is much better at generating beautiful faces. This is largely due to the fact that Dolly handles policy bans in a way that sabotages its own AI. So if you're a character designer, definitely go with Stable Diffusion. But if you're going for photorealism, Dolly has the advantage on that right now. For speed, I'd actually go ahead and give it to Stable Diffusion. Fusion. Here is raw footage of how long it takes for Dolly to generate images for you. I think the average is about somewhere in between 10 to 20 seconds. Sometimes a little shorter, sometimes a little longer. I think in this particular example, it took me like 12 to 15 seconds. Now here's the raw footage of me generating nine images on Stable Diffusion's website. As you can tell, it's way faster. It took like what, five seconds? And if you reduce the steps, it takes even less time. That was like, what, two seconds? So if you need speed, Stable Diffusion is definitely the way to go. Intuitiveness is honestly about the same. I'm gonna give it to Dolly simply because their image editor works in both Google and Firefox and doesn't glitch out every time you accidentally draw outside the canvas. And last comes down to policy. Both of them give you commercial license to your work, but Dolly also gives you commercial ownership over your prompts. Stable Diffusion, on the other hand, only gives you commercial license to the images. So that is something to consider. Both websites have censorship the difference is Dolly won't let you search for things that are on the ban list, while Stable Diffusion will let you search for whatever you want, but will blur out images it deems inappropriate. But it seems like even if the image is blurred, you still paid for it. So that's very unfortunate and disappointing. When I'm working on beautiful fantasy characters, I'd say about 20% of the time my images come out blurred. I think the fact that you still pay for blurred images is why I'm gonna say it's a little bit worse than Dolly. Apparently there used to be a way for paying members to turn censorship off, but it looks like they removed that option, which I believe to to be a big mistake. Now, as someone who's rooting for Stable Diffusion, this is kind of frustrating because this should have been an easy win for Stable Diffusion. Especially when Google Party gets released, it's gonna be really hard for people like me to recommend Stable Diffusion over Google if they have the same policy and they're both censored, but Google just has better quality. So give people the option to disable safe mode. It will probably be your biggest and only advantage when Party is finally released. And for everyone else watching, this is why Crayon, in my opinion, is the underdog that we should all be rooting for. Because out of all the image generating websites out there that are free and available for everyone to use, with the commercial license included, Crayon is the only one that has zero filters. But hopefully Stable Diffusion will follow soon. Seriously, bring back the option to disable the safe mode. If you want, keep it on the $10 tier. But trust me when I say you guys are gonna need that option to stay on top of the game and be the people's choice. But anyway, those are the main differences. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.